H S K grammar, H S K 语法 ，H S K two verb reduplication. Hi, I am Lao Xu. Unlike other languages, verbs in Chinese can sometimes be reduplicated. For monosyllabic verb such as a, the reduplicative form is a a. For verbs more than one character or disyllabic verb a b, it is a b a b. And the reduplicated part is always in the neutral tone. For example, 我来说说这件事 I will talk about it. This is a single character. So, 说说 a a. 你坐下来喝喝水 You sit down and drink some water. 喝喝水我喜欢读读书，写写字。听听歌 ，I like reading, writing, and listening to music. So, 读读书 meaning read books, 写写字 meaning writing characters, 听听歌 meaning listening to music. 我送送你 ，I will see you off. 送送你。Let's see more than one character verbs. For example, 学习，我要学习学习。这本书 ，I will learn this book. This book is good. So, 我要学习学习这本书。你要多运动运动。You need to do more exercise. 运动运动。You can say 你要多运动 ，but you can always say 你要多运动运动。明天去北京，我要去准备准备。Tomorrow I will go to Beijing. I will get. Things ready. I will get things ready. 我去准备准备 The rules for reduplication of verbs are first, these verbs can be reduplicated. With the first category is verbs of actions such as 听看走跳唱 etc. and behavior verbs such as 学习打扫讨论 ，for example， 让我听听 ，Let me listen to it。看看你看看谁来了 ，Look who is coming。你看看 ，You look。我们去外面走走 ，Let's walk outside。我们去外面走走。妈妈喜欢唱唱歌，跳跳舞。Mother likes。Singing and dancing. 我想学习学习中文 I want to learn Chinese. 我想学习学习中文 So you can see these are behavior. 学习学习 Next one is 打扫 meaning clean, sweeping the room. 我想打扫打扫房间 I want to uh clean the room. 我们来讨论讨论。明天的比赛 Let's discuss tomorrow's match. Discuss, 讨论 Verbs of thinking is the second category, which can be reduplicated, such as 想考虑分析 etc. 你好好想想吧 Think about it. You think about it. 你好好想想吧你再考虑考虑明天告诉我。你再考虑考虑 ，think it over again and tell me tomorrow. 你再考虑考虑，我们来分析分析这次比赛。Let's analyze the、uh, competition. Also, verbs cannot be reduplicated. For example, verbs such as category one, mental activities such as 很怕 afraid, 喜欢 like. 害怕 etc. For example, 我怕狗 You cannot say 我怕怕狗 No, 我喜欢它 Don't say 我喜欢喜欢它 No need to repeat that. Second category verbs expressing changes or developments, such as 开始发生发展 
，电影开始了，电影开始了 ，the movie starts。Don't say 电影开始开始了 No need to do that. Verbs expressing possession, existence, judgment, such as 是有在像 etc., cannot be reduplicated. For example, 他像他的妈妈 He is like his mother. Don't say 他像像他的妈妈 The fifth. The fourth category is verbs expressing directions, such as 进出起过 For example, 他进了房间 He entered the room. Don't say 我进进了房间 Doesn't make any sense. So why should we reduplicate the verbs? Why is there such a phenomenon? Okay, the first is it is imply a、uh, quick action. For example. 我去问问，我去问问他，马上就回来。So 我去问他 is a kind of like formal expression. I will ask him. But if you say 我去问问他 ，kind of like hope the speaker can get a quick answer from the from the person. 我去问问他，马上就回来。I will ask him and will be back right now, right back. 等等我，我来了。Wait for me. I'm coming. 等等我。The second is try to express an attempt or trial. For example, 杯子呢？我找找。Uh, where is the cup? Let me find it. 呃、uh, ，我有好茶，你要不要尝尝 ？I have a very good tea. Do you want to try it? 你要不要尝尝 ？Third one is to express a sense of Lightness or relaxation, for example. 你坐在椅子上快一个小时了，起来活动活动。Yeah, I've been sitting in a chair for an hour. Get up and move a little bit. Get up and move. 起来活动活动。Get up and move around. 你过来，我们说说话。Come over. Let's talk. Let's chat. 我们说说话 ，so make it make the conversation much lighter. 啊，我们说说话。他每天打打球，吃吃饭，喝喝茶 ，so his life is so easy. Ah,、uh, every day he plays balls like basketball or soccer. Plays basketball, then even goes go to restaurants to have food, or just drink tea. That's it. Beautiful life. So the fourth. Uh, implication: Why we use、uh, duplication is that to express a softener tone. The tone is much softer. For example, 你来帮我 But if you say 你来帮帮我 it's much softer. 你来帮帮我吧 Can you、uh, Can you help me? 别工作了，休息休息吧 Don't work anymore. Get some rest. 休息休息吧要考试了，你去准备准备吧。You will have a test and get ready for that. Get ready for the test. 准备准备吧。So those are the reasons why we have verb reduplication. Some notes we have to know. First, if a verb has an object, you can only repeat the verb. So don't repeat anything after that, like a. The object, for example, 我们来读读书。呃、uh, ，Let's read books. Don't say 我们来读书书。No, you should not repeat the object. So for monosyllabic verb, a e a is also acceptable form. So instead of say a a, we say a e a. For example, 让我想一想。You can always say. 让我想一想。Let me think about it. 啊、uh, ，你来说说。You talk about it. Can you talk? 你来说一说。You can also say, 你来说说。你来说一说。But for characters more than one or disyllabic verb, you cannot do that. So you can only say, 你准备准备。
you cannot say 你准备,你准备. No. The third category you have to know, be careful about that, is particle. L can be used with reduplicated verb, mostly for the monosyllabic, uh, in the form of a l a or a l e a, meaning example. Let's see examples. So, 我们说了说话. So, if you do not have repetition, you would say 我们说了话. We talked. 我们说了话. We talked. You can, so here you can say 我们说了说话. But you should not put le after 说. So don't say 我们说说话了. No, it's not right. Or 我们说说了话. It's not right. Only thing you can say is 我们说了说话. 他看了看. He looked. Don't say 他看看了. Not right. 我跳了跳舞,感觉好多了. So you can say, So don't say, 我跳跳了舞,觉得好多了. No, that was not right. So those are the uh, grammar points for verb reduplication. Thank you very much.